Did you know that greater than 70% of electrical loads for industrial processes use electric motors? Many of the larger systems use medium voltage motors based on cost savings using smaller wire with higher voltage and lower current. In this video, we'll take a look at medium voltage motor control to understand how it works and the role it plays in industrial processes. Let's start with a few basics. A motor control center, or MCC, is a centralized collection of equipment that controls and protects motors. MCCs often refer to low voltage equipment ranging from 120 volt to 600 volt AC, though that doesn't quite cover the whole story. Motors are also regularly used in systems ranging from 2.4 kV up to 13.8 kV, with 4160 volt being the most common. In these applications, a medium voltage motor control center, or MV MCC, is utilized. Using medium voltage significantly reduces the current required for higher horsepower motors. For example, a 500 horsepower 480 volt motor will typically require about 550 amps at full load. That same 500 horsepower load will require only 64 amps at 4160 volt. Regardless of low voltage or medium voltage, MCCs are designed with the same core functions in mind, motor control and protection. Motor control, at a minimum, allows operators to start and stop electric motors on command. Several motor control solutions, such as soft starters and variable frequency drives, allow for more sophisticated speed and torque regulation of the motor. The second function, motor protection, is paramount to preventing damage to your motor system. MCCs utilize devices such as overload relays and fuses to provide overload, short circuit, and ground fault protection. This helps ensure motor longevity and reliability. Now let's get into some of the specifics of medium voltage MCCs. Shown here is an AmpGuard medium voltage control assembly. This is how you will often see medium voltage MCCs in industrial applications, grouped together as centralized equipment. Here, we have multiple motor starters connected by a main horizontal bus, which runs across the top of the equipment. These starters can be used to control motors used in pumps, fans, compressors, chillers, and many other applications. Transformers and capacitor banks can also be energized by this equipment, which we refer to as feeders. In this way, AmpGuard medium voltage control is not just limited to controlling motors. As you can see, connected to that main bus are vertical bus drops, which distribute power to each load. With this design, a single voltage source can be used to distribute power to all the starters and feeders in a motor control assembly, reducing both complexity and footprint. Every medium voltage starter requires the same core components, an isolation switch, power fuses, contactor, and protective relay. From the vertical bus, power flows through the isolation switch. The isolation switch acts as a service disconnect, grounding and isolating the starter from the energized bus, leaving no exposed medium voltage. The switch is operated using this handle mechanism. The protection of the circuit comes from a combination of the main power fuses, contactor, and protective relay. Power flows through the main power fuses, which provides short circuit overcurrent protection up to 50 Ka. Next, you have the main contactor, which opens and closes as part of normal start-stop functionality of the motor. The contactor can also be operated by the protective relay for enhanced operational capabilities and safety. A control power transformer, or CPT, is used to step down the line side voltage to 120 volt AC output and distributes power to the low voltage compartment powering devices such as indicating lights, meters, and relays. 
Current transformers scale the motor full load current down to less than 5 amps to provide current signals to the meter or protective relay. Potential transformers, or voltage transformers, perform a similar role by scaling the medium voltage signal to a 120 volt nominal input that the meter or protective relay can accept. The precise measurement of current and voltage allows for a wide range of monitoring and protection for the circuit. Load lug pads act as the landing point for motor cable connections. Now on to the low voltage compartment, which is isolated from your main medium voltage components. Mounted on the low voltage door are basic components such as indicating lights, push buttons, and selector switches that allow for local interface with the system. The indicating lights can tell you things like contactor status, as well as whether a fault or alarm is present. The push buttons and selector switches allow an operator to control the load locally or remotely. Additionally, you will typically see an electronic protective relay mounted on the door. This protective relay is the brains of the operation. It monitors voltage and current signals from the PTs and CTs to ensure proper motor operation. If there is an abnormal condition, such as motor overload, the protective relay will send a signal to the contactor to open, protecting your motor. So now that you know a little more about the construction of medium voltage control, let's talk about applications. First off, why would you use medium voltage control equipment instead of switchgear? The benefits come down to space, cost, and overall reliability. Medium voltage contactors have about 10 times the electrical and mechanical lifespan of an equivalent medium voltage breaker found in switchgear. Medium voltage control also has significantly less cost and footprint with the ability to integrate various starter and feeder types together in a single medium voltage assembly. This flexibility also allows you to close couple with traditional medium voltage switchgear. So where do we see medium voltage control? The mining industry uses medium voltage starters, soft starters, and VFDs on conveyors, cranes, and crushers. Wastewater treatment facilities utilize medium voltage control for large intake and affluent pumps. Oil and gas operations use medium voltage motor control in midstream operations that move gas and oil to downstream refineries. And many heavy industrial manufacturing processes utilize medium voltage motors to operate kilns, fans, mills, gyratory crushers, and more. Medium voltage control, including starters, soft starters, and VFDs allow you to safely, efficiently, and reliably control your industrial processes. To learn more about how Eaton can support your motor control needs, visit eaton.com slash ampguard. If you would like to see medium voltage control equipment in action, contact us or your local Eaton representative to visit one of Eaton's Power Systems Experience Centers today.